Hi Rachel, this is Jose. I'm here to turn my wife loose for junk drawer clutter. If she don't know where to put it, guess where it goes? In the junk drawer. Extra pencils. Remotes for TVs we don't even have. Screws, bolts that we were, some of these are already used. Pencil, crayons, toys. She even has extra power tools in there. Why she would need a saw in, in this drawer in the kitchen, I have no idea, Rachel. She even keeps the twist ties from the bread. What kind of emergency are you going to have? They say, oh, let me use twisty ties. Rachel, this is a 911 call. Please give my wife tips how to organize what she wants to keep. Please. <laughs> so obviously, Jose and Luz are here. Yes. And so are there many drawers of junk. Yes. <laughs> In fact, maybe we should show Everyone, yeah. so grab a drawer. I will. And let's just pour it out here on the table, shall we? Just to get a sense. You want me to dump it? Yeah, just very gently. <laughs> Peter, I don't know if it's all going to fit. We still have another one. Oh, my gosh. People, don't be shy. People chronically underestimate how much is in a room or a drawer. Yes. seriously? <laughs> this is one of the funnest parts oh of my, my job. Oh! Oh, and it, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, it gets better. Hang on. Multiples. First thing we need to do is we need to stop using the word junk drawer. Okay. We know, yeah. This is now a utility drawer mm -hmm. because if you think junk, you think, I can throw any trash into it, anything that I don't this know what to do. This is literally trash. <laughs> okay. Let's just have a look first up of a few things that should not be in any junk drawer. For example, paperwork and mail, invitations, cards. Show me that piece of paperwork there, Rach. Uh, should not be in a junk drawer. Should not be in a utility drawer. Set up. Oh, set up. Sorry. Don't touch. <laughs> set up a standing file like this okay. with different files for different items and put this somewhere in the house, maybe a kitchen t maybe a uh, kitchen counter, a home office, all paperwork goes in one spot because paperwork gets easily destroyed here. Right, right. Tools. Tools should definitely not be in here and utility <laughs> items like these should definitely not be in the drawer. Oh, my God! <laughs> these should be... These sh there's another one over there near you, the green one. These Both should be in the garage, obviously. And then finally... Um, things like pens, pencils, crayons, craft supplies should not be in a utility drawer because they will very quickly break up, leak and make a huge mm -hmm. mess. So what you should do, and we're not going to do this now, pull everything out, get rid of the garbage, stuff that doesn't belong there, separate it out, put it in its home. But let's have a look at the ten items that absolutely should be in a utility drawer. Okay. Come over here. So this is one of the drawers, guys. Number one, line a drawer with adhesive paper. So straight up, I'm not pulling the backing off this because I always end up with it stuck all over my body. Drawer organizers, these are three bucks a piece. They're very inexpensive. And then the 10 items that you should have in a utility drawer. You should have a lint roller. You always yeah, need this one. at some stage. Mm -hmm. You should also have a flashlight. Another good one. OK. Some pens and pencils. Not a huge number, but if you have a space in the utility drawer, you know where they live. Definitely a pair of scissors. It's a good one. You should have a lighter if you have a gas fireplace or candles at home. Have that. You should also have a measuring tape. Absolutely. That's a good one, yeah. You should have a battery tester. Because we all That's a great one. Are the batteries working? Right. Are they not? Well, we'll right. just put them in the drawer till we can find yes. out. Have a battery yeah. tester. Super glue. When you need we use it. Gallons when of gallons. you need it, you need it. So you should right. definitely have that. Mm -hmm. You should have a small screwdriver, Phillips and Flathead. You should definitely have that in the drawer. And a box cutter. Because we all end up getting packages and that these days have a box mm -hmm. cutter that you can quickly and easily right find. Where my, uh, I'll, I'll put this here and this here. Now, okay. ten items, then modify the drawer to suit yourself. You might want to have car keys right. or something like that in there. So, but you can see here, you can quickly and easily find yeah, things. Yeah, use this as a roadmap. Yeah.